everyone. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can customize fonts in Notion. So stay tuned. So if you are new to Notion, you'll be wondering, are there only three fonts in Notion? If I want any other font, how can I include in this? But these are the only three fonts. They're not bad. They are pretty good. So today I'll be showing you how you can uh, customize your own fonts. There are many ways to that. I'll be showing you a few of the ones that I really like using every single day. So we are going to compare each and every font. So yeah, let's get started. Nope. Now for the serif font, the one in default is obviously a sans serif font. So is the serif font okay so this is the default font in notion now for the one it involves formula you can use the inline uh, equation that is this this option this is the equation it is pretty easy you don't have to be scared or anything uh, once you get a hang of it it's pretty easy so the serif font, there are two different serif fonts. Well, it's basically one, but it's, it looks like two different fonts, you know. So for the first one, you just um, you just uh, hit create equation, and then you get this uh, dialog box, equation box. Just put two brackets before and after the word, and going all the way to the left, Starting at the beginning, you just put a backslash, you put a slash, that one, and then you type in text. You can put in a space, it doesn't matter, it doesn't change anything, but I like to put space so that it's more readable. And then you just hit done, and you have another font over here. So just to write the equation down, it is that simple. This will be the formula for this one. As you can see, oh, it is the same one. So now moving on to the another serif font, or maybe like a different kind of serif font, but almost looks the same as the previous one. So again, double clicking, highlighting the entire thing, and then hit create equation similar to the previous one brackets before and after the word and starting all the way towards the end slash the same thing exactly like the previous one text it looks almost the same right but we are going to uh, type in bf and it basically means bold font if you like to bold the word or something and uh, you want to use a different uh, set of font or something like that uh, you can use this one so it's that simple you know so now you can see the uh, difference between each and every font like this just has normal text like a normal set of font so now coming towards the sans serif fonts uh, I'm going to switch to the default because it is a sans serif font okay don't be confused if you uh, have um, opted for the serif, it will be serif, otherwise it will be default, just like uh, how you use Notepad or Word uh, yeah, or Google Docs, like that. Okay, so now focusing on a sans serif font. So now again, this will be the default font in Notion. Now, this is the default font in Notion. Now, another way to have a sans serif font in Notion is again by using an equation or creating an equation. So, again, you can type a word or a sentence, highlight it, and then create an equation. Similar to the previous one, the equation stays the same. It's just that uh, the function um, changes every time you want something different or something you know so now for the sans serif font it is again text there's nothing uh, different about it 
but for the function of this is it is SF. It basically means sensor at one. Writing down the equation here so that you guys can take a note of it or take a screenshot, whichever you prefer. Yeah, so it's that simple. It's just uh, you add SF or you add uh, BF at the end of text, so you'll get the font that you prefer. So these are the two different, actually one, because this is obviously the default option in Notion. So now coming towards the uh, script type font. Script type font are basically like cursor handwriting fancy uh, fonts I'm talking about. Okay. So one way to do it is actually pretty simple. You don't even need to know an equation for it. You just type in the word, highlight it as per usual, and then hit create equation. You have it right there. There's no equation involved in it. You just hit done. It is that simple. You just type, uh, just highlight it, and then you're good to go. So another one involving um, an equation is you type the word and then you highlight as per usual and then starting um, with the curly bracket before and after the word and then comes the function. So the slash and then mat cal. I like to put space because it's more readable and it looks neat. And then you just hit done. So now you can actually see the difference between these two fonts. It's really super cute if you are looking for a, a script type font in Notion. And another uh, font is actually italics. That's also pretty cute. It's, it's default. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. I really like using that a lot. So yeah, these are the different uh, ways on how you can uh, incorporate uh, equations into Notion if you are new. These are the simplest equations that I come across and I use them quite regularly. So I hope you enjoy this video and yeah, thank you.